What's up everybody, t Cerberus here, and I'm coming back at you with another Skyrim Guide tutorial on how to find the Water Breathing Enchantment. If you don't know what the Water Breathing Enchantment is, it's exactly what the name entails. It's Water Breathing. It gives you the ability to breathe underwater, like a mermaid. Uh, so, you can swim around, find things underneath the water, hidden chest, hidden passageways without drowning to death, or if you just want to go for a swim. I like to do it all the time. Uh, and, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to find the Water Breathing Enchantment. Um... And as you can probably tell from the scenery or the environment around me, that we are inside the Forgotten Vale. So I will show you that right now. There you go. We are in the Forgotten Vale, which is next to Solitude and the Castle of Volpahard or whatever the hell it's called. I don't know. That might be from an entirely other game. Or is it Castle of Volpahard? I'm not entirely sure, but uh, if you've... If you've beaten Don Guard, then you know what I'm talking about. You can see we are also in front of one of the way shrines here. Uh, so let me go inside and I'll show you what we're going to be doing next. Uh, this is what you're going to want to do is go through the way shrine uh, of Radiance Portal. You see, uh, well, this is not the way shrine of Radiance, but this portal. Portal to the Shrine of Radiance. That's the one that you're going to want to take. You can see the other ones. Balcony, Passage, whatever the hell those say. Learning and Restoration or whatever. Uh, but what you're going to do is want to go through the Way Shrine of Radiance. So just give me a second and uh, yeah. Uh, also, quick note. Uh, ever since you bought the Dongart DLC, you'll notice that most of the water breathing enchantments were taken out to make the enchantment more rare because it's an extremely useful enchantment. Okay, so we are here at the Way Shrine of Radiance, which is the last Way Shrine that you get on your way to the Inner Sanctum. You can see here some Falmer structures around, so let's go ahead and run all run over to the bridge. And you can see we are at the Inner Sanctum, the bridge to the Inner Sanctum, which is where you fight uh, the Arch Carap of Ariel, or whatever his name is. And you just get a potion real fast, because uh, this is the only game save I could use. Unfortunately, I'm a vampire. I don't recommend using the vampire. I mean, you can if you like, but... I, I mean, I just don't like being attacked by... Like, say, uh, if you choose the Dawnguard side... You won't be attacked by the vampires once you're done. <laughs> so, which is nice. Because uh, you kill all of them. But if you choose the vampire side, you'll always be attacked by the Don Guard. So, yeah. You can see, let's just go inside the Inner Sanctum. And what you're going to see now is a bunch of fro frozen dead Falmer. Well, not dead, exactly dead, but they're, I don't know. You'll see in a sec. But, uh, so let's just run on inside here. You'll see a bunch of frozen Falmer and even their bug things and most of them are going to be holding I holding items note do not take the items that they are holding because they will come to life on you a bunch of them will just come to life and try to kill you so what you want to do now is just continue on your way to fight the arch Curp of Ariel uh, well, on the way anyway and you'll see it you can see they're still holding a bunch of items and now what you're going to do here, you see this room, uh, you're going to run through here and you're going to see one Falmer inside here, in here with a bunch of these frozen bugs. And this one single Falmer, look what he's holding. There you go. Water breathing. This is the, uh, whatever the hell that says, circlet or whatever the hell it is, a water breathing enchantment. Now what you do is just go ahead and kill all of these. Make sure you don't die because these bug things are sometimes overpowered. Uh, but also note that if you continue to take the items from them, uh, the items that you don't take from the ones that come to life, you'll lose the items. So make sure you're just not grabbing all the items in there. So you can see we just fought all of them, we're alive, and we uh, have the water breathing enchantment with us. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, well this is the easy part, I'm going to show you how to put it on any uh, headgear that you want. Helmets, hoods, uh, circlet things, whatever you want. 
And now you can see that we are here inside Dragon's Reach. Dragon's Reach, which is the Jarl's quarters of uh, Whiterun. You don't exactly have to be in this place, but it, it's one of my favorite places, and it has an arcane enchanter. Or an enchanting table is what I like to call it. Uh, but as you can see here, we have the circlet of water breathing. Can swim underwater without drowning. So, go ahead and break it down. And you can enchant you can enchant water breathing onto any headgear that you wear on your head pretty much. A helmet, a circlet, um, probably necklaces, I'm not entirely sure, I don't have a necklace on me to ch test it out right now, but you can test it out for yourself after you go find a water breathing enchantment, which this guide shows you how to do, so there you go, I'm going to put it on two different things just to show you, you can put it on helmets, uh, probably should have grabbed like a circlet or something, but whatever, you can go test it out for yourself, and as you can see here that we cannot enchant it on boots or anything else, so only headgear, so what we're going to do now is, uh, I'm going to go show you exactly how it works. Alright, now you can see that we are here at one of the docks to bring you to Castle Volpart or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, you don't exactly have to be here, but <clears throat> I thought it might be a good place to come go for a swim at. Uh, and as you can see, you cannot see actually, so uh, I don't, let me get out of the water so I can wait. But there's an enemy there, so I have to kill it first, so... Uh, just give me a second, and I will uh, kill the little fish thing following me around, and... Hold on. I see it. Somewhere inside the water. There we go. Got it. Okay, so let me wait till morning, and I'll show you how you can swim around without drowning. I am a vampire, unfortunately, so I, dr I, you know, get weak in the morning or at sunlight. So there, now you can see a bit better. Hopefully, you can see at least uh, see the rocks and whatnot. You can now swim around underneath the water. You can see I am wearing the helmet that I uh, randomly bought to enchant it with. I'm wearing the helmet, and I am not drowning underneath the water. So you know, just give it a second, and you'll see. Uh, in about the next 10 seconds or so, I would start drowning, I believe. And... Yeah, as you can see here, we can just swim on forever. Um, you get, This is extremely useful to find, like, hidden passageways underneath the water, because there are lots of those in Skyrim. Uh, also, there are lots of hidden chests and hidden satchels and whatnot that have, like, rare items inside them underneath the water in multiple places for DLC, for for just regular uh, Skyrim, or anywhere. So, uh, yeah, you can just go swim around, search for hidden chest items and whatnot. Let me remove the helmet suck and show you that we will start drowning to death without the helmet on. And soon we should start drowning. You'll see our health bar just rapidly start dropping. There you go. So you can see our health bar is dropping because we are now drowning to death. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to re-equip it. There we go. And our health bar stopped drowning, or stopped dropping because we're not drowning anymore and we can now breathe underneath the water. So there you go. Uh, that is how the water breathing enchantment works you guys. I hope this helps a lot because it's an extremely useful enchantment that is really overlooked in Skyrim so I thought I'd make a guide for it. Uh, but yeah, I hope this helped. I hope you enjoy. Please leave a like on the video if I helped you at all. Also leave a comment telling me if I helped you or if you're having problems finding it or anything whatsoever. So uh, yeah, uh, I hope this helps and thanks for watching.